the 86 bike in particular is um, is the real, in my eyes, the real factory bike. Um, it uh, it was probably the last of its kind of the two-stroke generation. Um, way, way above, uh, ahead of itself. Um, nice bike to ride. Um, not an easy bike to ride. Uh, extremely powerful. Um, chassis and that was probably a decade above itself, you know. Suspension was amazing. Um, but yeah, I'd say that was the last of the factory bikes. Honestly, they're, they're way ahead of their time. Way ahead of their time. The engine, the Honda engine was amazing. It's just a missile. It's so torquey. Um, you could rev it, you could ride it with the gears. You could do everything you wanted to do. 86 bike uh, production, there's no comparison. You know, you, you couldn't have got two bikes further apart. And I think that's the beauty of HRC. You know, in those days with the two strokes, there was a big difference between what you bought and what you saw on the racetrack for the factory teams. I think, you know, when you look now, um, maybe from the naked eye, Tim's bikes look quite similar to the 450. But the, again, the technical know-how and the features that HRC have is uh, amazing. When I first signed for Honda I signed based on an air-cooled bike and obviously it was top secret and there was no information given to me that we were going to go water-cooled. So that when the water-cooled bike arrived in 83 it was all, um, for me as well being so young, it was all a bit daunting really. Um, I'd never really seen one, didn't really understand it. But um, from 83 to 84, um, the bike evolved. Um, then my 85 bike was um, the B engine, if you like, of the factory bikes. Uh, Andre and Eric had the A engine, and Andre Romans and myself had the B engine. But I, I wasn't at a disadvantage. I mean, I felt my bike was brilliant. And then in, in 85, uh, that bike was a beast and then they evolved the, the riding position the way the seat went up on the tank on the 86 bike they evolved a lot of stuff that was more enhancing for the rider um, and then of course in um, in 87 you had the rules change in America which really stifled HRC at that point and then we went back to the 87 um, which for me, it was a difficult bike to ride. And then they realized that they'd gone from being amazing to something too near production. And then in 88, it moved a little bit away, which 88 bike was good. And then the 89 went away again. And then we went back to more factory than standard. Do you know, as the 86 season goes, I never felt I rode good. Uh, even though I won, I felt every race was a struggle. Uh, whereas in 85, everything was a lot free and easy. It was easier for me. Not in terms of the race, but just how I felt. I felt like I was flowing, whereas in 86, I felt a lot more bitty. Whether that was carrying the championship from the first year and the pressure, maybe. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It was a pleasure to be involved with HRC at that point. <laughs>